Hello, scholars and cyborgs, and welcome to another episode of Math with Marcus. We are doing problem uh, 373 about portions webs from the sixth grade textbook from CPM. And this is about converting uh, fractions, decimals, and percents using this tool called a portions web. So um, here I've got these four problems here. I've got them set up. I don't go into as much detail um, with, the, with the lines and the arrows. I just kind of draw a triangle as a, as a general form. Um, showing that you can move between the fractions to decimals, decimals to percents, um, words to fractions. You can go all these different ways. Um, there's no uh, set order you need to convert these in. What I mean by that is if we start with um, four-fifths as a fraction, um, it's telling us to write it as a decimal, which is down here, or as a percent. Well, we can choose to go either way. We could first turn the fraction into a percent, or we could turn it into a decimal first. Um, there are two ways to turn a fraction into a decimal. Only one way to turn a fraction into a percent. So um, if I wanted to turn a fraction into a decimal, as, as you know, this is less than one whole. So I'm going to have zero point something. Um, this is the tenths place, and this is the hundredths place. And this is the thousandths place. Realize that there's tenths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So um, one strategy is to use the multiplicative identity, so the giant one, and try to convert this fraction into um, tenths or hundredths or thousandths. So I always ask myself, well, can I use the giant one to change fifths to tenths? The answer to that is, yeah, heck yeah, I can. Um, I can multiply by 2. So when you do, 5 times 2 is 10, 4 times 2 is 8, so you have 8 tenths. And what does that look like as a decimal? Well, that just looks like that, 8 tenths. That's it right there, 0 0.8, 8 tenths. Um, the way to turn a, a fraction into a percent um, would be to say, well, okay, um, percents are always out of 100. So 70% means 70 out of 100, 60% is 60 out of 100, 110% is 110 out of 100. So ask yourself the same question, uh, five times some other factor equal to the product of 100? Yeah, five times the factor of 20. So four times 20 is 80, so we get 80 percent, 80 percent. I'm going to show you how to do that with the decimals in a second. So that, that is um, how to turn a fraction into a decimal and a fraction to a percent. The other way that we could have turned the fraction into the decimal would have been to divide. So you can, you can treat this as a division problem and you can treat this as 4 divided by 5. If you've got um, a calculator or some device that, that can um, do calculations very quickly, that's definitely the easiest and the quickest way to get a fraction to a decimal, just doing numerator divided by the denominator. Uh, if you have to do it by hand, it's still not too bad. You do 4 divided by 5. Um, 5 goes into 4 no times. So we'll put a decimal, bring the decimal point up. 5 goes into 48 times, though. 5 times 8 is 40. No remainder, right? We already, but we already knew that, All right? We already knew that, that this decimal is um, 8 tenths. So we can write that. We can write that as our, because we need to write that out in words, 8 tenths, or we could have drawn it as 4 um, fifths. Now, if you would have turned a decimal into a percent, I really suggest using um, the, the tiles and thinking about that. So this is our 100% block. And if we had 8 tenths, 8 tenths, how are we going to cover this up with 8 tenths? Well, these were the tenths. So you've got 8 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. <clears throat> so there's our 8 tenths. And if you remember that each of these, this is a 100% block. And each of these is 1%, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80%. So the 8 tenths represent 80%. So 
So um, that is that is one way of doing it. So I'm going to clear this because I'm going to use it in a second. All right. So back to here. So three tenths, if you can say this, so 0 0.3, you're going to want to say that as three tenths. If you can say this decimal properly according to its place value, that's the tenths place, you can write it as a fraction, three tenths. There you go. Um, and then how do you turn a decimal into a percent or a fraction into a percent? Well, again, so visualize what percentage that would be. Three tenths would be 30 percent. Three tenths would be 30 percent. The other way to do it would be to use the giant one and to get our fraction as a denominator of 100. So multiplying by 10, we would get 30 hundredths, which is 30%. So that's the other way of doing it. All right, what about these guys down here? 85%, so let's go ahead and build that. So 85% would be 8 of these, 8 of the tenths, and then 5 um, ones. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. There you've got 85%. So building this as a decimal, each of these are the tenths. Each of these represents one tenth. So each of those is a tenth. So writing it as a decimal, I've got eight tenths. And I'll even do them in the colors. So I've got no holes. And let's pause. So um, I've got eight tenths and five hundredths. If you look, if you look here, right, I have eight of the tenths. And then five, one, two, three, four, five of the hundredths pieces. That's 85%. So eight tenths, five hundredths makes our decimal. And again, if you can say this according to its place value, that's the tenths place, that's the hundredths. This is 85 hundredths, 85 hundredths. So as a fraction would be 85 hundredths. Now you would want to simplify this so we can say, okay, well what um, what two what two numbers can we multiply to make 85 and what two numbers can multiply to make 100 and we're looking for a common factor here. Well in this case 5 is a common factor of both and 5 times, what would that be? That would be 17. 5 times 17 is 85 and 5 times 20 5 times 20 is uh, is 100. So 17 twentieths would be your simplified version of that fraction. And the last one, we've got um, 1 and 23 hundredths. So 1 and 23 hundredths. So if we can write that um, as 1 and 23 hundredths. So that's the tenths place. That's the hundredths place. You can't jam the number 23 into that one place, so the, the 2 ends up spilling over, right? So 23 hundredths is like that. If you wanted to write it as a fraction, you've got 1 and 23 hundredths. And as a decimal, think about what we have. We've got, or as a percent, we have more than 100 percent. This is one whole, so that's 100 percent and 23% for 123%. If you're building it, if you're building it with these blocks, you would need something that looked like this. So you've got this, and you would need another one of these blocks to be put on top, making 100. So that's the one, so that's one whole. And here would be the 23. Here's 23 hundredths. So 123 percent. That's what you would do. One and 23 hundredths. All right. So thank you very much for watching that. Um, hope this helped. And tune in. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Um, thanks. Catch you around.